Hello, it's James here from Something RS, as you can see by the little space in my name and the fact that I am a sir, because I'm clearly a knight. And today I'm going on James's epic adventure number two, which is involving killing midgets, or dwarves as they're more commonly known in the RuneScape game. Yes, get out of my shop, bitches, just move along. As you can see, the you know everything's been updated, but we have a video about that in a I don't know which will be uploaded first, this one or that one, but I do strongly recommend you go and do the other one because we're quite a lot of fun making it. It's about all these new little icons and the Hattie Wolf and the Skull, which is Skull, Skull like the Lager um, Wolves. And uh, today I'm just going to be showing you where I've been. I've just I've done quite a bit on my account recently. I've just got 75 wood cut in. I got 70 attack, so I'm no longer a range tank because range has just become really underpowered because of the damage absorption so 99 range I just don't like don't like using it it's just so boring so I got 70 attack and 80 strength I got Barrow's gloves which is really fun to eat. you know really nice things to have I definitely recommend getting them like the best recipe for disaster gloves you can get because they just they do help with melee so much and they're only 100k at the end of the day so you know it doesn't matter I have not really been doing anything else since my last epic adventure I mean, I've got a few stats, probably got about 20 total levels, got a few summoning levels, blah, 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 but yeah. Anyways, I will be showing you now how to get to go kill some midgets, and possibly, hopefully, come on, Jagic, you know you love me, get a dragon pickaxe. I went there the other, yesterday, actually, and I got an effigy, which is pretty cool. So anyways, yeah, as you can see, you start off in the Grand Exchange, and then you take the little tunnel, and you're on the minecart, and it's all, whee, I'm on a minecart, yeah, you ain't on a minecart, motherfucker, don't tell me to be careful, all right? It's cool. I got this. And you might be thinking, what the hell are you on about? Are you on crack? And no, no, I'm not. But to do this, you have to have done the forgiveness of a Chaos Dwarf quest, I believe. Which is quite a fun quest to do. I do like the Dwarven quest series. It's one of the few that I actually read everything that they say on it instead of just skipping through it. Because, you know, I'm impatient. Ooh, awkward silence. Fun! But yeah, this is the quest that you get the hand cannon from, and I will always say this in videos where you get defense. Don't get it if you want to be a 1 defense pure or anything below 26 defense, because that's what it gets you. And that's because I can't be asked with people going, I did what your guide said and I got defense XP, blah blah blah, I hate you. So, yeah, you know, just warning you. Plus, if you have an account like that, you should always be looking up stuff for it to make sure you're not going to get defense XP, otherwise you're going to be a failed account. Like me, with my main stats. It looks really nice. I need, if I get to get that to 90, this will all be really even. Well, well, odd. But they'll all look rather nice. So yeah, you run around Kelger Midget area. And you run around the back here. You run through it. You can see the route. I'm not talking over the route, because it's not a guide. I'm just telling you what to do, which is kind of what a guide is. But, you know, it's not. This isn't a guide. This is my setup. Nair's not helm because I like it. Strength Ami, which is green. Look at this, look at this. Don't oh, fuck's sake, Jagex. Alright, just take the sword off and green and take the cape off. It's the Darox. And take that off. There we go. Green strength ami because, you know, I'm cool. And I find that quite funny how I've got a green strength ami. I've got a few potions and stuff, and because when you go into this place, this is the you um I, sorry for saying um, by the way, it's just something I, I occasionally do, and I've said it again, didn't I? <laughs> the monsters, are, they won't be aggressive towards you, but if you attack one of them, like if you attack a Chaos Dwarf, or a Chaos, Chaos and Can Cannon Engineer, or a any of the Black Guards, they will all become aggressive towards you, all the ones on that side, and the cannon's ears can hit, a, like, 380s and stuff, so you really don't want to be getting torn by freaking midgets. And if you are a, a little person, I believe that's the correct term in this video, don't take this seriously. I'm just taking the piss because I'm a dick. Nothing against me. little people. I think that's the correct term. And these are pixels, look. Pixel, pixel, dwarf. Dwarf, dwarf, pixel, pixel, dwarf, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, for the first 10-15 minutes, I usually just attack the dwogers. Dwoger. The sexy chaos dwoger there. Because, oh shit, I forgot to bring a DDS. Uh, well, too late now. You attack these guys for a while. Oh, well, uh, prospect there. Yeah, you attack these guys till the rest of them will aggro off you. They do stand a better, well, not better, but they do stand the chance of dropping a dragon pickaxe, which is pretty cool. Free 11 mil. 
that's what I'm trying to do. As you can see, my cash pile is down to 1.8 mil, and it was 300k yesterday. But I just sell quite a lot of junk from my bank, so hopefully it'll be going back up soon. It's kind of why I'm here. I want to try and get a different way of making money in because I've never done like PVM against boss S monsters for money before. But yeah, this is my epic adventure around fat little troll ogres, which I presume, and midgets with cannons. I mean, why do dwarves need cannons? I don't know. I don't like the hand cannon anyways, it's too slow. And I think I'm rambling a little bit. But that's the idea of the video. It's not to um it's not to impress anyone, it's just me talking over gameplay because I'm kind of in the mood to make a video and we just made one and now I wanna make one. Because I'm petty and immature like that. I oh I really miles off all my stats get leveling. I just I don't know. I'm thinking about getting nine hour cutting, but it's just really, really not that profitable. I mean I think I've made about a few hundred k since I uh, actually I think I've made almost a mil from 60 to 75, but I did do a few use u logs from 65 to 68 I think, which made me quite a bit of money. But I've done quite a few birds and I got quite lucky with them. So you know it's one of those eh, you might make money, you might not. You don't know until you try, eh? But yeah, I don't think I'm rambling too much. I might have said that a few times, but not a single fuck is to be given by me. So, anyways. This is the little chaos battlefield, and what I do after a, about 20 minutes when all these are auto off me, I just run around in a little circle and attack each of the chaos dwarves. Just hit them once, then just keep running around and hit them all once. Because the, um, as you can see, the mob, no, are they called mob? The NPCs, no, not NPCs, the midgets are fighting each other. This guy was here yesterday. Does anybody know what this guy's for? Called the raptor. I've seen him a few times before. I don't know what he's what he's there to do. We can go and talk to him. Do you want to go and talk to him, guys? I presume you all said yes. Of course we do, James. We love everything you do, which is true. But yeah, let's go talk to him. Let's see what he has to say to me. The raptor. You killed Elgar. Not impressive. Just a dragon killed lots of dragons. Well, you, sir, are a dick. I've killed more than Elgar. I've killed the King Black Dragon. And I've killed... um blue dragons and red dragons and green dragons and a frost dragon and then dungeon ones and so yeah screw you bitch anyways this is me rambling on and on and on because I wanted to get a video up and also we've got like quite a few views recently I don't know what it's from I think it's from Tom's quest guide so if anyone's new to the channel and hasn't watched any videos apart from the quest guide I'm James I'm the other guy on the channel I'm well Tom's a sensible one and I just sort of ramble on not really got much of a moral conscience towards things. So if you see me taking the mick out of Tom, it's all banter. I've known him for years in real life, so yeah. He knows what to expect from me. Anyways, guys, cheers for watching, and I will see you on either in the video we're uploading. It might be uploaded. I bet mine goes at first, but yeah, be jelly. All right, guys, I'll catch you later. And this is my... <laughs> shit. Just forget you saw that. Forget it. Forget it. This is my epic adventure of killing midgets, even though I haven't killed any midgets yet. These are fat midgets. They're like chode people. They're fatter than they are tall. If you're fatter than you are tall, you need to go seek serious help. Or kill yourself. But it's the serious help thing, probably. Probably the better YouTube moral ground type thing. Which I'm totally good at. Anyways. I don't know if any of you have been here before, but if not, it's quite fun. It's a bit of a different way to train, although at the minute this is <laughs> really repetitive. But when you get to run around killing everything, they will all attack you, but I don't want to do it because I don't want to leave because I'm I'm a scared little child. I know. Feel bad for me. Alright, so for the 15th time, I will say goodbye to you guys. Alright, cheers for watching, and I'll see you all later. Goodbye.